Hey Gemini, it's Nicola. So this is your weekly read. This will be for July the 6th through July the 12th. Okay, so we have spiritual service. Let's read what we have for this. Self-doubt can have a habit that is Self-doubt can be a habit that is hard to break. It can slow down your spiritual progress and the fulfillment of your life purpose. Ultimately, it won't stop you, but it can make your progress seem more challenging. It is easier to fulfill your purpose when you acknowledge your own goodness and talent and do what you love to the best of your ability. Realize that you are enough, that your work is good, and that you have something of value to offer. It is time to let go of fear of failure, concern about your ability, and your right to live a happy and fulfilled life of success of success. The universe believes in you. All right, so let's see here. What messages, what guidance do we have? This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This is for July the 6th through July the 12th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have for Gemini, Solomon, Rising, and Venus? This is for July 6th, July 7th, July 8th, July 9th, July 10th, July 11th, and July 12th of 2020. This is for Gemini, Solomon, Rising, and Venus. All right. We have Hierophant. Sun. Woo. So for some of you guys, and I, I didn't want to say this, but for some of you guys, it could it looks like or it could look like that something is becoming more stable. And I say could look like because sun is reality, but also sun is vitality, image, happiness, joy. So it could look as though something is becoming more stable. You could be happy. Divine timing could be at play here. Um, with the Knight of Swords here and the so some of you guys, it could be time for you to take action, time for you to move forward based off your beliefs around a situation high priestess here trusting your intuition very spiritual card so these look at this this is a spiritual reading taurus just had a spiritual reading so if you got that in your chart most definitely pay attention to that but you see this you see the let me, let me put them so you can see i can't really see so this is hard but you see this these are some very freaking spiritual cards so i feel like for a lot of you guys there is this this new awareness or awakening that is happening i feel like you're very much in the space of balancing your your physical and your spiritual your 3d and your 5d i do feel like there's some decisions now you could be dealing um with needing to make some decisions there could be a judgment a a spiritual judgment that is being made here lovers in reverse hmm okay so i feel like someone there's some conflict here because someone isn't making a heartfelt decision or a balance there's a balanced decision that needs to make someone didn't make a balanced decision or someone isn't making a balanced decision so i do feel like it is time to take action i feel like you need to trust your intuition speak truth or act off the knowledge that you know but someone's not making them so someone is blocking their path here i feel like you know you have the keys of knowledge so the thing about it is you have the knowledge to change the situation you know what you need to do but you're not making you're not making balanced decisions um you're making low vibration decisions right now. Even though you know with the hierophant you, what you need to do. You're making low vibration decisions. So temperance here, divine time. And I feel like you're being watched right now. Um, you're always being watched. But I feel like specifically you're being watched. Because this decision, I feel like this is, this is like a lesson. So we have the three of wands here with the um, lover's card again. Could be dealing with the Gemini. Um, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're really trying to have patience making a decision. You're not having patience. Divine timing is at play. You're not having patience. You're underestimating your abilities. Could also be dealing with the Sagittarius. You're underestimating your abilities. You're not confident about gaining the seeds that you've sown. So you're creating a block. Did you see that? Seven Pentacles. You planted the seeds. Now there's a blockage towards you becoming abundant in that because you're very much in the space of really trying to weigh all of these things out, trying to make sure that you're making the right decision. You need to put your energy into alignment so that you can actually take action on the things that you're manifesting. All right. So we have the Knight of Swords here. Why is this Knight of Swords here? 
we have the Ace of Wands. So I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you have a new, I told you, Ace of Wands, Knight of Swords, you got a new opportunity that you have to take action on. And it may bring emotional fulfillment. But for a lot of you guys, you're not in the space of actually doing that because you're really trying to nurture your own feelings right now. You're not you're trying to nurture what you feel as opposed to making any sort of actions toward anything else. So high priestess here, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're being given the knowledge. You're you're being given the messages, but I feel like you could be detaching from that, especially with that King of Swords back there. Page of Pentacles here, full energy. Some of you guys are needing to invest into this new cycle that is going to bring happiness, but you're at a crossroads about this because moving forward means that you take control of your own path. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're afraid of that. So King of Swords, I do feel like for some of you guys, you could be in a space of detaching, could be doing dealing with someone that doesn't do a lot of communication. Why is this King of Swords here? Tower here. Could be in a space of going through revelations. King of Swords with the Tower is realizing, going through revelations, mastering your, your desires, your will, um, mastering your thoughts. I feel like judgment, you could be going through an awareness, could be seeing the light here. Um, Tower here, Will of Fortune, all of a sudden there's going to be a change to a relationship. I feel like something is going to, going to, I feel like something, there's some adjustments within, within some sort of partnership that is going to happen wake up call so there's going to be some adjustments within a partnership someone's going to make a decision about something and you may feel as though that's an unwise decision so you could be a conflict about that some of you guys could be a conflict about somebody else's decision lover's card in reverse you could feel as though someone's made an unwise decision this may be a lover that you've had four of cups the problem is if you're worried about someone making an unwise decision i won't be 100 percent with you you don't want to hear it that relationship is complete. That cycle with that person is complete. You're making an unwise decision by allowing this to affect your energy. Death card here. Transformation. This has already ended. Um, magician here with the emperor. I feel like you're trying to manifest some sort of control over a relationship or over a situation based off your beliefs on, on your position there. You have no control. Whatever this is that you're worried about, it's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to trust your decision and cut away a situation. But you're making unwise decisions because I do feel like there's going to be conflict based off your your dislike of a decision that I feel like don't have nothing to do with you. So we have the five of wands here. Yeah, five of wands, five of swords. There's going to be a fight here. Five of wands, five of swords, five of wands again. There's going to be a fight because someone feels burdened by the decision that has been made. Someone feels like now they got competition. Someone feels like now there's a lot of bothersome details, a lot of bullshit that they're going to have to deal with based off of someone else's decision. Again, this don't have nothing to do with you. I'm sorry. Y'all not going to hear this. All this is is somebody hurt your pride based off a decision that they made in their life. You have to, you know, be stable and grounded enough within your energy to allow yourself to move away from it. To allow yourself to, you know, move down the path that is right for you. So two of swords here. Why is this two of swords here? Three of swords. Some of you guys are, are really being blinded by this heartache here. Um, I feel like... For a lot of you guys, this is a severance to a partnership. This ain't even a severance to a connection. This could be a friendship. This could be a friends with benefits. This could be something that was based in the 3D, something that you were cooperating with in that was in a low vibration. You're finding the strength to overcome it, really in a space of removing these blockages. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're starting to see the truth about a situation and you're unhappy because someone could have made a decision. Even though divine timing is at play here, someone could have made a decision that went against your desires. That has nothing to do with you. What decisions the people make in their life are based off of what they desire and what they need moving forward. So let's see what messages and guidance we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages? We got vulnerability. So this decision makes you feel vulnerable. Yeah, some of you guys feel like if you stay still long enough, then you could, be, could become a part of this. But validity right here, we also saw this in the Taurus reading. I feel like all of a sudden your passions are going to be kind of exploding because you feel vulnerable standing still you don't want to be still you want to come into communion with making sparks or, or creating new things and new life so i do feel like for a lot of you guys there the change that is going to happen yes there's some situations that you're unhappy about you're un you don't trust the decision that is being made but i feel like if you focus on staying grounded and allowing yourself to truly be vulnerable within your own path i feel like you'll be able to come into communion with peace for yourself this is all I have. Until next time.